What's going on? Welcome back to 100% NUFC, just outside St James's Park. This weekend, it's Chelsea versus Newcastle. It's the match preview in the Premier League. It's a three o'clock kickoff, and it's a game that I'm feeling really positive about. Just coming off the back of an international break, I'm feeling positive because, you know, we're coming off the back of a one-nil win against Manchester United. I know it was Manchester United, and they're not brilliant, but winning breeds confidence, and I hope now that the lads are feeling a little bit more confident going into this match than they were after the Leicester game only two weeks ago where myself and many Newcastle fans were down in the dumps. Now, I'm glad that the international break is over. Did the international break come at the wrong time? Yes, it did. Because when you win a game, you want the next game to come very, very quickly. And unfortunately, when Newcastle seem to win a game, the international break is always around the corner. But it is what it is, and we've got to get on with it. Now... As for Chelsea, who would take on this weekend, they come off the back of a 4-0 win away at Southampton, so they're also in good form as well. Just to let you know that there won't be a match day vlog from Chelsea as it won't be going this weekend due to work commitments, but I will be at the West Ham game in a couple of weeks' time, so there will be a match day experience from the Olympic Stadium, so jot that in your diaries if you want to see that, so I can't wait for that game. But if you do want to see... Uh, the match day vlogs from the Chelsea away matches gone by last season and the season before. All you got to do is just type in YouTube Chelsea versus Newcastle match day experience 100% NUFC and you can go and watch that back in time. I hope you enjoy them. Now, if you do enjoy this video, also hit the like button and subscribe if you're new. Let's try and hit 15 likes. So, you know, it's going to be an interesting game on Saturday. You know, Chelsea are currently sixth in the Premier League. If the win and results go their way, the game goes higher second. We go into this game in 16th place. And if we can win and results go our way, we go as high as 11th, which is not too bad. Now, let's look at the game. So, you look at our head-to-head -head against Chelsea at Stamford Bridge and at St James's Park. It's not brilliant. Last season, we lost 2-1 at Stamford Bridge. Also lost 2-1 at St James's Park, but the season before that, our first season back in the Premier League under Rafa Benitez, we won 3-0 at St James's Park and lost 3-1 at Stamford Bridge. Uh, the last time that we won at Stamford Bridge, I do believe, was back in 2012 when Papi Cissé scored that absolute worldie, which then got us our fifth place finish under Alan Pardew. We haven't won since. So it's going to be you know, a tough game you know, down at Stamford Bridge and given the record, it's all stacked in their favour. Now, going into the match itself, Chelsea, you know, they're on very, very good form. Their last four games, they've won three and lost one, and that was a home to Liverpool, which, again, is no disgrace because Liverpool are top of the league, and at the minute, they're running away with the league. And if you look at their side, Liverpool, full of world-class talent. Now, let's look at Chelsea again. You know, their manager is Frank Lampard. The Chelsea legend's got the job. You know, fully deserved, in my opinion. He's replacing Mauricio Sarri, who went off to Juventus. He did win them the Europa League last season, and he did get them into the uh, top four for some, some fair play to him. You know, Frank Lampard has got some big shoes to fill. Chelsea this season aren't the Chelsea that they used to be. You know, they have lost one of the world-class players in Eden Hazard, who left for Real Madrid. But they have got some young talent in that squad that, you know, can really go places, especially under a manager like Frank Lampard, who... You know, got his first job in football for Derby County last season, only missing out on getting Derby to the Premier League in the playoff final. But as for Chelsea, as much as he's a club legend, Chelsea, you know, are a club steeped in history, a club who, you know, want to compete, you know, for silverware and are always in that top six. Can Frank Lampard keep Chelsea in the top six? He should do. But nothing is a given in the Premier League. Just look at where Man United are this season and their decline. But the thing is, they are under a transfer embargo, so they do have to um, lose some of their better players. Obviously, Hazard wanted to leave a long time ago. But, as I've said before, they have got the likes of Tammy Abraham. They have got, you know, the likes of Kovacic. They've got Willian, Pedro. They've got, you know, players there that can make a difference on the day. Also, I mentioned Mason Mount as well, who played a load of Derby last season, who's got a bit of talent. And... Um, I have to say, you know, that they are a good side and that because of the players that they've got, they are there, built for the future, and that's what Frank Lampard's trying to do. You know, Mason Mount got given his chance this season because, you know, he played really well at Derby and obviously he's an academy player uh, at their club. So, 
I can see what they're trying to do now, you know, give the youngsters a chance. And, um, you know, this season so far they've proven, you know, that they can sustain that top six place and that they can score goals. Yes, they have been a little bit hitty-missy, uh, have Chelsea, but, you know, on the day they are a very, very good side. Stamford Bridge, they are very, very hitty-missy as well. So, you know, we've got a very, very good chance of getting something down at Stamford Bridge. It's not to say we can't do it. It all depends on what team turns up from our point of view, Newcastle United. Now, let's look at our team, Newcastle. So, Steve Bruce obviously knows that this is a big game for Newcastle to try and build on that result against Manchester United at home behind me. And it's important that we try and go down there with a game plan. And it's important that we start off on the front foot, but also when Chelsea are attacking, that we defend in numbers because away from home recently, we have not been good enough at all. I mean, I went to Leicester City away. What was it? Only two, three weeks ago and we got humped 5-0. We've been in Norwich, being beaten 3-1. So, Chelsea, you know, they're no pushovers and they will... They'll be looking for the three points on Saturday. Now, my question to you guys is: Would you start? Uh, sorry, would you start Joe Linton on Saturday? Personally, I wouldn't because for me, he was non-existent against Manchester United on well two weeks ago, and for me, he needs to be dropped. I'd like to see Dwight Gale start. I know he started in the past away at Chelsea and he hasn't been brilliant, but let's be honest: this is a new season under Steve Bruce. You know, it's like for like replacement. I think. Joe Linton at the minute needs to be out the spotlight. I think he needs that breather. And if you put Dwight Gale in as well, like he's got that pace to try and you know get past you know the last couple of defenders, and that'll go in our favour. You know when we go on the counter attack, because let's be honest with you, we're not going to have a lot of the ball. You know down at Chelsea, they're going to have a lot more of the possession, and it's what we do with the ball that's going to count to try to get a result on Saturday. You know Steve Bruce for me, also. I know he's not going to do it, but I would just ditch this, you know, wing-back system. I've always said I'd like to go old school. Maybe it's 4-4-2 or 4-3-3, but whether he does that, that remains to be seen. There's not huge expectation for us to get a result down at Chelsea on Saturday, but I'd like to see the lads put in a good effort and have a go. St. Maximin, you know, is going to be important for us as well. A player to watch out for, for any Chelsea fans watching this. He's got pace, trickery, skill, and uh, he's lightning quick, as I've said. And, you know, he's a Champions League footballer, you know, in a squad that's full of average players, in my opinion. Almiron, yes, I know he's not been brilliant, but you've still got to start him, you know, for his, um, for his pace. It's the final product that, you know, that sort of lets him down, in my opinion, but he's definitely one to watch out for. You know, Dubravka has been unbelievable as well. You know, in net, he's been keeping us in it. I know he's not had his best sort of start of the season, but he's still a valuable goalkeeper to us. The Longstaff brothers, for me, they've also got a start. They played really, really well, you know, against uh, Manchester United, albeit they're not a brilliant uh, side uh, <laughs> these days. But, you know, you've still got to start these two young lads who, you know, have got a bright future at Newcastle United. And, you know, as I've said before, he's got his first goal, has, you know, uh, Matty Longstaff. So once you get your first goal, it's all about starting the next match and trying to, you know, keep that confidence up. And uh, this could be, you know, the partnership going forward, which it should be two local lads. And, uh, you know, you wouldn't change too much if the squad that started against, you know, Manchester United, but one change I would make would be Joe Linton. So, you know, injury news for both clubs. Lejeune is expected to travel, but probably won't be risked against their uh, Chelsea on Saturday. And then, obviously, we are still missing Hayden through suspension after he picked up that red card against Leicester. As for uh, Chelsea, you know, Conte, who, you know, is going to be a real threat for them. He's 50-50, that's why I didn't really speak about him, because going to Sports Mall, you know, he has got an injury and he is expected to be back against us, but it's not too clear just yet. But he is someone who likes to get forward, someone who likes to make something happen. So if he does play, someone definitely to watch out for. They are missing the likes of Kovacic, um, they're missing Loftus-Cheek as well, Christiansen, and a few others as well. So, you know, could that go in our favour? Well, who knows? We can only find out on, you know, uh, Saturday when we play them. But our record at Stafford Bridge isn't fantastic. But you know what? I'm feeling confident that, you know, if we can go down there with a game plan and we played exactly what we did against Manchester United and have a go, anything is possible. And uh, Chelsea are there for the take. And yes, you know, they are unbeaten, um, which I'll give them that. But the point is, you know, we need to make sure that we're on the game. So anyway, if you are new to the channel, um, don't forget to subscribe, as I said before. Also hit that like button. Um, score prediction, I'm going to go for a 1-1 draw. I don't know who the goal scorers are going to be. It all depends on Steve Bruce's side. But 
again it all depends on how he sets up anyway this has been your match preview for the game against chelsea on saturday let me know your score predictions down below in the comments also don't forget to follow me on instagram and twitter all social media will be down below in the description so go and follow me on that and uh, yeah i'll be back with a review on saturday or sunday okay enjoy the game safe travels if you're going and how are the lads